Christine. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make my yummy roasted vegetables. My Uncle Jack just loves these vegetables, so I'm going to make them and take them to him. So we're going to start out by um, three carrots. I have three large carrots here. I've already peeled them and um, washed them up. So you just want to take them and kind of cut them at a diagonal. Gives them a nice shape so that afterwards they're really pretty. And this is a great dish to make for when you have a lot of people come over. We, I make this all the time when we barbecue. Um, we'll have the steak on the grill and the, veg, the vegetables in the oven. And then by the time the steak is done cooking, the veggies are done. And it's a great way to feed a lot of people. So you just want them in bite-sized pieces. Okay. So we'll get them in our bowl over here. And next we got is our potatoes. I have a mixture of red and um, white little little potatoes. And if they're small enough, you can leave them in whole. But these ones are um, just a little bit big, so I'm going to cut them in half. And I haven't cooked these at all. They go in raw. Um, if you have larger potatoes, then you would want to parboil them a little bit. Otherwise, they won't cook um, in the oven. And it's nice to have the different colors. I love to make this dish as colorful as possible. So I got the orange and the reds and the white, and I always pick out a pepper that's another color as well. Get these all cut up. And next we have is the bell pepper. Just one bell pepper is fine. You just want to cut the ends off on the bell pepper. We're going to throw those away. And then I just cut it down the center. And then you want to take out this white part in the bell pepper and the seeds. That part is kind of bitter. So you want to make sure you remove all of that. So you slice it off with your knife on both sides. And then take your pepper and just slice it into strips. Add that to our bowl. And then I also like to add zucchini to my vegetables. My grandma also likes to put zucchini in hers too. It's really yummy. It comes out nice and tender and just a little bit crisp. So you just cut the ends off. And then when I peel it, I just peel part of the skin off. I make one peel and then leave a little space and then peel a little bit more. So then that way it holds up when you, after you've roasted it, they keep their shape. And then you just want to cut these two in bite-sized pieces. Then I'm also going to add one whole carton of little grape tomatoes. Roasted tomatoes are so yummy. So it's something you don't want to leave out. And then our last vegetable we'll add is half of an onion. This is just a yellow onion. So just take, take just the first layer off. I like to cut it in quarters. And then peel just the outer skin off of it. then that way they can just pick it out if they don't want it. Clean up our board here. Now we need to add some herbs. I just pick whatever I have in, the, in my garden that looks good. So I have a little bit of thyme here and a little bit of golden sage. Just gives it that little bit of extra flavor. So with the sage, you just want to take it and you roll it up. And then you just make little fine strips of it.
And then for the time, you just hold the, the little spray at the top and you pull down. And then you pull all the little leaves off. So do that with the rest of it. And we'll add that to our veggies. So now we need to season it. We're just gonna put salt and pepper. And if you're watching your salt, you can just um, leave the salt out, but the veggies, they taste really well when you put salt in there. And then some nice, freshly cracked black pepper. A lot of it. Then the last thing we need to put in there is just some olive oil. And just put enough to coat, it'll probably be about a quarter, quarter cup or so of olive oil. You just want to coat them so they're, they're nicely um, coated with olive oil. This will help them roast up and get that nice golden color in the oven. So just mix it all up, make sure everything looks well coated. And I've already got my oven roast uh, preheated at 425 degrees. And these are going to roast in there for about um, 25 to 30 minutes or until they um, are fork tender. And you don't want them too mushy, but just enough so they still have a little bit of bite left in them. So we got it here in the roasting pan. Now we'll just get this in the oven. have been roasting in the oven for about 25-30 minutes and they're ready to be taken out. Let's go get them. Oh, they look wonderful and they smell so good. You can really smell the peppers and the onion and you got the sage and the thyme in there. Let's try this. Try one of the carrots. Perfectly cooked. The carrot is still this still has a little bit of bite to it, but tender and warm at the same time. It's so good. I know my Uncle Jack is going to love these vegetables. So I'm going to pack these up in my to-go container and get them over to them. So remember, especially when you're making food for somebody that you love, you have to make it with love.